Hi everybody and welcome back. Uh, today's video is going to be a short one about drop shipping. I'm coming to you from my studio today. I'm doing a lot of orders for the holiday season and as I was doing those this morning I was thinking I haven't really done a video on drop shipping and whether or not um, you might think that it's something for you. Um, this is a piece of advice that I wish I had known a little bit more about as I was getting started, so hopefully this will help you. Um, first of all, what is drop shipping? Uh, drop shipping is when you select a company online and you upload prints of your work, uh, images of your work uh, onto their website. Some of them store the images, some of them don't and they will print images in the size that you select and they will then ship your prints to your customer. So you do not have to carry inventory basically. So um, what are the pros of drop shipping? If you are an artist that is just getting started and you don't have any money, <laughs> my first couple of years were really really pretty tough. I did not have uh, any good any cash flow basically. I didn't know when I was going to be getting a sale and so storing inventory uh, was not an option for me. Um, a lot of people they have their images printed and then they will the company will then offer you a discount the more images you print from them. Um, companies online will do this as well. If you order one print, let's say an eight by 10, it's $6. But if you order two of the same print, then they'll knock the price down to $5.95. If you order four prints, then it goes down even further. So they sort of entice you to purchase more than one print at a time. And it does sound like it's a really good deal. Um, but when you're just starting out, you don't know when you're going to get a sale. You don't know what people are going to purchase. And just sitting on those prints that you paid for, you could make a lot of better use of the money that you do have. Um, so the pros of drop shipping are that you are able to uh, print on demand. If an order comes in, you can then send your image off to whatever company that you are going to use. And most companies, they, they are very professional and they won't put their name on the package. You can request to have your name on the package, your business name. Some of them even provide business cards for you that they will slip in. And then they take care of everything. They will slip it into um, a plastic sleeve for protection. They'll put a backing board behind it and they will ship it off to your customer. So uh, definitely the pro of drop shipping is that you do not have to worry about prints. You don't have to handle them. You don't have to go to the post office. You basically don't have to really do anything other than just allow them to do everything for you. Um, and that might be a good choice for you if you're just getting started. The cons of drop shipping. Um, I, I used drop shipping for the first two or three years, I think. Um, probably closer to three years I used a drop shipping and the more prints that I was getting ordered I would carry a little bit of inventory um, but if you drop ship you you never get to see your image before it goes off to your customer that's probably the main disadvantage of drop shipping you never get to see it. So you can't inspect it really to make sure that that print is going to look exactly the way you want. Monitors have color restrictions um, and so the colors might be off just a little bit unless you know how to configure your computer. Uh, some companies will provide you, if you pay like $3, they'll provide you with an image that has a color chart on it and then you match that color chart to your monitor so that you know exactly how they are going to be printing your prints. But you never get to see it. Never seeing it means that you also don't get to hand sign your work. Now, a lot of customers don't, they're not really concerned about that. Some customers are. They want a hand signed print. Um, so you should make that known wherever you're selling your work that you are going to have a digital signature on your print. 
and uh, any piece of uh, photo editing software will do this for you. PicMonkey is a good one. Uh, they, you have to pay for that service. I think it's $40 a year or you can pay monthly. But PicMonkey is one of the best online I have found. And um, you can do watermarks on there. You can edit your photos on there. If you don't have something like Photoshop, that would be a good way to get started because it's very user friendly. So you would have to digitally put your signature on your print and send it out. So make sure you disclose to your customers that it's not an actual hand signed signature. I did that at the beginning and I was glad that I did because um, some people really, they, they really want a hand signed print, especially the more you get known, then you really just can't, you can't do digital signature prints anymore. At least not saying you can't, I, my customers are not happy with it now that I'm selling more. So it, that's why I ended up getting my own printer. Um, once I could afford it, now I can do everything from my space here and that makes it a lot easier. So um, when you are deciding whether or not you wanna do drop shipping, um, take those considerations um, to heart. Really think about it because you may be paying more for drop shipping. I know certainly I was like, I had sticker shock when I looked to see, my gosh, you know, look how much they're charging for shipping. You know, it's like $10 for one print and I can ship a print off Etsy of the same size, an 11 by 14 print for $3.46 here in the US. So that's a big difference, but they again they take care of the backing board they take care of the plastic sleeve they put it in they uh, the company that i use finerworks.com a great company um, they really make sure that their that your print is secure and it's going to reach its destination uh, without damage so all of that costs money so if you print from home you're going to have to purchase all of those things and it can be a, it can be a pain to do. So when you're starting off, drop shipping is definitely something that I would consider uh, that you try. Um, and then once you start getting a an established fan base, um, a lot of customers coming in to where you kind of know what's selling, then you can start thinking about maybe setting up uh, printing in your own home. Um, so anyway, I hope that this helps. I hope that kind of makes you. Um, closer to making a decision whether or not drop shipping is for you and I look forward to seeing you guys next time so have a good day bye